Right, so next thing I'm going to do is reinstall text live with this additional this package. Is it text live from source TLP DB database not shipped with source in years after 2018? That means that text doc does not work in the 9.R. Ah, I wonder if this is why we had a few issues earlier. So we can either follow the or install the 2020 version from the current development book or we can fix the current version which is probably my preferred option um, because that's the version we're working to by downloading text live from Tug's historic 2019 directory so I'm not quite sure what that means alright Tug's the name of the website and probably the organization that maintain text live oh it looks like oh, so it looks like we may have installed it anyway with the 2020 version let's check looks like they've modified the manual since they first published it because we've not downloaded that so this bit probably wasn't here downloaded yeah see there's the original source where it's only got the source and the text MF but now the live one they've modified and added this section in here because of that errata although their their way of building it is to use the current version of this TLP DB rather than what they suggest in the or as an option in the um, errata for 9.1 so it's rather confusing um, I wonder if they've no they haven't reissued the manual with the update like 9.1.1 .1 or anything they've just modified the manual which is probably a little bit suspect maybe So I think I'm going to grab hold of the current version and build that. So let's just go to this FTP website. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Didn't want that. Just want to go to the. Oh, I clicked on the. I need to copy what I've highlighted, that's right. Go to a new tab, let's bring this over here where we're working. Paste that into there. Now we can go to 2019 and look for this extra file to download, which looks like it's that one there, TLPDB full. Yeah, text live TLP DB full. Anything is, I haven't got the MD5 sum file to check it, but that looks like the one, so I'm going to save that. Oh, it needs a password. Oh, no, it doesn't. And save that there now.
So it doesn't tell us what we need to do with this extra file. Let's look for TLP. So we're going to have to modify this because they are using the modern or new um, package. I guess we'll, well, maybe we should have used it, but it kind of seems a bit odd to me using a different version um, so let's follow these because this the because this has been updated these instructions won't be here in the original you can see they're not there the the install command is has been expanded to include this extra file so we need to sort of go through this but modify it for our oh it's interesting the config has changed as well um, this is making things confusing now because they haven't updated the version of the book things have changed compared to what we've built already um, Yeah, we've only got a 2019 directory, see, so gonna, I think we're going to have to work from this static book that we've got. And then modify the install command to take account of the fact that the file that we've downloaded is different and it's going in a different directory. So let's now begin this. Let's just check this file here. This should have these changes already. And there it is at the bottom there. Opt text slide 2019 te uh, lib. So that's fine. Let's oh let's um extract it first of all. So we want to extract the source. Now I can run the these commands. Okay, now I'm going to try and find this configure command. So we've got the same command as we had before. So I'm not sure if this will work or not. No, it's gone. So we're going to have to go through this again. I can't remember. There's any changes? Um, prefix include with system. No, it doesn't look like there's anything to change anyway. So we can just copy this in. Let's do that. Okay, let's just compare it to this other one. Let's get rid of this one. Okay, 
Looks like we've got more options there actually. Pixman. Sys pop. Don't know what that means. It's blank anyway, so I'm not sure what that, that means. That's obviously different. Looks like we've updated the whole of this package actually. Um, I wonder if it was worth running just deleting the 2019 version and running this all in. So we get, I thought this was all to do with 2020 going in with the 2019 version, it's not. Oh, this is pop there, right. Oh, so this is obviously a fix to fix this issue here. So I think what I'm going to do is delete the 2019 version and install the one they have got now in the book. That would make sense. So let's start these downloading because one's quite a big file. Is this one here? Leave them running. And while we do that, we'll need to modify our installation as we've got it at the moment. So let's go back and remove this 2019 version and we need to modify the EDC LD so comp file so we'll just change everything here to reflect it's the 2020 version Um, I think if we source that it will probably come up with an error because the past doesn't exist. Um, no, it hasn't, okay. <coughs> so it says text live ships are a very old version of Poplar and some updated files for newer versions. To use the system version, first identify and then copy the correct version of the updated files. Please read the caution above. So it's basically the pop, um, it's only work with newer versions of Poplar, i.e. the ones used in BLFS. So, because we've installed Poplar from BLFS, we should be okay. So we've installed 85, 0 0.85. They're using 88, so they've obviously updated that as well. But at least we are greater than 83. Oh, I see what we're doing here. We are actually on the SVN here. Right, yes, I'm getting completely confused here. We're on the SVN. Go to read online. So the sorry the the manual is 
Okay, I've got is this because I'm downloading now? Is it? No, looks like the website's gone funny again. If they haven't updated the original manual, it is the fact that this is the fix to go to the uh, SVN book, which is why Poplar's a newer version. Probably find some of these other ones in newer versions as well. Well, I'm not going to start doing this until we've got the main source downloaded in case it uses anything inside that. Um, so I think that's probably downloaded actually because it's only 53 meg. So let's try and extract it. Text live 2020 source, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's just make sure this doesn't do anything else with any of the other files we're downloading. In fact, it looks like it's finished, which is surprising. Um, uh, 2020 source. No, it's still downloading. Oh, that hasn't specified that it is finished. Oh, in fact, it hasn't even started. Um, and if that's because it was from this FTP site. Let's try it again. Text live. Yeah, zero bytes. Okay, maybe it was because it was asking for that name and password, even though it's a public FTP. So let's look at this again. That's better. So this one didn't download then. I'm going to grab that just for completeness, <clears throat> even though we're not going to use it. The fact is that that's what was the original instructions. So now I can run this command here to set this sys property or sys pop system popular probably. So let's run that and now we should be able to view that. Okay, so it's identified some switches that are going to be turned on in this command here. Okay, so we can carry on with this. Let's run this bit up to here. 
inspect it. Okay, so you can see it's installing it to a new location in the Opt Text Live. And now I can run Make to build this new version.
Okay, so that has finished building and we can now unset this variable and become the root user. Might have to wait a moment because the download's still going. So I'll just wait for. Oh no, it's this one. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, so let's do sudo. Um, can't see whether Texarge is actually used. Oh, it's only in the configure. Um, right, I was just concerned if we lost it. So, on the install. So, it's not actually successfully install requires some text live commands to run at root user so it export text arch variable to select root user it was not that variable doesn't appear anywhere else in this page so that's clearly not the case anymore in now. Right, so it's failed on the last... Is that not... Still downloading, is it? Text live two two o o four o six t l p d dash full tar Jeez, head. And it's 2.9 meg. So why has that failed? Oh, there's, there's a typo there. That dot should have two dots in it. So this is a problem of um, using the development because the development has probably not been checked as much. Um, so it's something to be aware of. So I'm going to delete all these other commands, it especially makes a point there in the notes not to run the make text links command uh, more than once, so this is the bit that failed the previous command should have worked in fact we can just verify that the last command was to install several files into opt text live 2020 TLP KG text live and you can see it's created the directory there and it's copied the files into that directory opt text live 2020 TLP KG text live and then it's failed when it's done the tar command so we know for certain that everything else has worked correctly and it's just this tar command that needs to be modified you see if I change that so it goes up what it's saying is go up one directory then in this directory 
that I've gone up to, which will be this directory here, extract this file. Well, in fact, the, that file is in this directory here, and that's why it's failed. So there, that's worked this time. Now install some extra files. It's still downloading. So how big is it now? It's about halfway, so just need to wait for this file to finish downloading. I'm going to put a watch on that. And we'll just wait for this to complete. And how big was it? Was it three gigabytes, I think? Yes, it is. So it's just over halfway. So we've just got to wait for it to to finish, and then we can run this command next. Okay, so the download is complete now. We can stop this watch command and extract the file that's just finished downloading. Okay, so that is extracted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run these 
commands individually, but using this command here just so that we ensure that that text live for uh, text arch is it variable gets used. Now I'm not sure it will make a difference, um, despite what's said here. But just in case it does, these are obviously text live commands. So and it does say that text arch will affect text live commands. So that's the reason why I'm going to run these individually to ensure that the um, that variable gets used. So let's just inspect it. There it is. There. So sudo minus c. If we do sudo minus c echo text arch, it should also produce the same output. Which it does to prove it's it's being passed down to the spawned um, root shell. <clears throat> so let's do the first one. That's a good start. Okay, the path is incorrect, it's still pointing at the old directory, so we need to resource the profile, hopefully that should update it, no it hasn't, so have we missed anything out? Um, I know what it'll be. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. We should have. Uh, hopefully, this hasn't done anything wrong now. We should have done this bit here first. Um, right. Let's modify this. Um, yes, I'm not sure whether this would have made a difference or not to the installation because um, everything in the build let's just check this is the same yeah there's no changes there <clears throat> Um, well, we'll have to see. We'll find out when we run these commands here if there's going to be any issue. No, I still haven't found it. Oh, 
text slide 2020 bin. So it's for Linux MK text slide. Um, Smith dist Scripts text live. Okay, text. And I saw that it's there, so there's no reason why that shouldn't work. <clears throat> done from a, a sub show like that. Okay, let's run, let's do the last one. And that's executed, so that looks like that's all complete now. <clears throat> 